Court records reveal the alleged sexual misconduct in messages. It all happened between July of 2021 and March of this year. Now in this affidavit, it also the teacher Zachary Douglas admits that he gets sexual gratification from sending nude videos and pictures to juvenile girls. That's not protecting your students. That's endangering them, you know, so um, that's grooming them and that's just highly inappropriate. Parents and neighbors are reacting to the charges against a Bramer, Missouri school district science teacher and coach, 29-year-old Zachary Wayman Douglas. He's accused of sexual misconduct involving a child under 15 and providing pornographic material to a minor. This affidavit reveals the teacher used the app Snapchat to send approximately 20 nude videos and pictures of his private parts and solicited the minor girls for nude photos in return. One of the correspondents with two separate female minor victims says Douglas asked that minor to have sex. This is totally shocking to me. Uh, I've known Mr. Douglas for quite a few years and uh, this is totally shocking. I never would have thought that uh, he would have done anything like this. So it's a kind of a big disappointment. A big disappointment and shock from this Bramer resident who did not want to show his face on camera. He's a super nice guy. Uh, I just didn't, I didn't see that side of it. And tonight the Bramer School District is responding in a statement shared on social media. They say allegations are being investigated. Bramer School District takes all student concerns and allegations seriously, investigates the pursuant to district policies, and work to fully cooperate with state agencies and law enforcement. It goes on to say per BSD policies and procedures, the staff member was placed on administrative leave while this matter is investigated. We also reached out to Douglas's attorney, but we did not hear back. This investigation is ongoing and authorities believe that there could be more victims. Meanwhile, Douglas, he remains in the Caldwell County Jail with no bond until his court hearing, which is set for April 7th. Sharifa Jackson, Fox 4, working for you.